Hello everyone, welcome to Flamboyant Flavors. I am Reena and in this video I am showing you lentil kebabs. It's vegetarian, vegan and nutritious kebabs. Before I start, please subscribe to my channel for new videos and do hit that like button if you enjoyed this recipe video. Let's start off with soaking the lentils. I'm using half cup of yellow lentils, half cup of red lentils, and I'm gonna soak this in two cups of water for at least 25 to 30 minutes. For veggies, I am using three zucchinis, one red onion, and since I have baby carrots handy, I'm using about one cup of baby carrots. I'm gonna start with grating baby carrots using the bigger grater. You can surely use regular carrots. Same way, grate zucchini. You can peel off zucchini skin, but I'm going to leave it because it holds good fiber. Leave the stem of zucchini because it helps you hold it while grating. Transfer the grated zucchini into a bowl. It's a little different process when you work with zucchini as it contains a lot of water. And in making kebabs, you would need to remove extra water from it. So add just a teaspoon of salt. Mix it and set this aside for 10 minutes to let it sweat. With the onion, I'm going to chop it in my vegetable chopper. Lentils are nicely soaked in water now. So let's drain out this water and give it a quick wash. Make sure to drain out water properly. You can also spread the lentils in the colander or you can dab it using kitchen paper towel to remove excessive water. It's been 10 minutes and now zucchini started releasing water. Let's remove the extra water and for that transfer the zucchini into the colander. If you want to save this zucchini water or zucchini juice, use a bowl under the colander to collect it. Using a spatula, press grated zucchini to remove extra water. Or you can use your hand as well. Nice way to get your arms workout done. Let's keep this aside. Now in a pan on a high flame, Add chopped onions, grated carrots, and grated zucchini. Mix all the vegetables and let it cook on high flame until the veggies get dry out. Keep stirring it so veggies don't get burned. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so, so you don't miss out any new videos I post and do hit that like button down below. For me, it took about six minutes to get rid of all the moisture, but it will depend on how high the flame is on your stove. You need to be able to see that mixture is all dried up. Then turn off the flame and remove the veggie mixture into a separate bowl. Into the food processor, Add soaked lentils. With that, add one cup of roughly chopped cilantro. Add four to five cloves of garlic, two small pieces of ginger, and two teaspoons of salt, or you can adjust it as per your taste. Now for the dry spices, one teaspoon of coriander powder, one teaspoon of red chili powder or paprika, one teaspoon of cumin powder, and one teaspoon of garam masala. For binding, I am using 3 4th cup of whole wheat flour, but you can also use all-purpose flour. Add just about one tablespoon of lime juice or lemon juice 
and I'm gonna grind this. If needed, use a spatula to scrape out from the sides so everything gets well combined. Make a dough-like consistency. Take this lentil mixture out in a bowl. Add the veggie mixture to it and mix it thoroughly. Hey, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out any new videos I post. And don't forget to hit that like button. Add 1 teaspoon of baking soda to this mixture. You can make any shape of this mixture. Rub few drops of oil to the hands so the mixture do not stick to it. I'm going to make some round shaped patties to use these kebabs in burger buns. And some I'm going to make it in oval shape to use them in wraps. I also have black bean patty recipe on my channel. If you would like to check that recipe video, the link is in the description box down below. Now that all the kebabs are shaped, let's shallow fry them. For that, on a medium to low flame, in a pan, add 3 4 cup of oil. Let the oil heat up. Once the oil is hot, place kebabs to shallow fry them. When it turns nice golden brown at the bottom, flip them and shallow fry on the other side. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so, so you don't miss out any new videos I post. And do hit that like button down below. It took me about 4 minutes to get golden brown on each side. Once they are done, take the kebabs out in a plate with a kitchen paper towel and fry rest of the kebabs the same way. You can also bake them at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 to 30 minutes. Friends, stay with me as I'm gonna show you an easy dip that goes well with this kebabs just in few seconds. Lentil kebabs are ready and they are nice crispy from outside and soft from inside. You can surely enjoy these lentil kebabs with tomato ketchup or cilantro chutney. I personally enjoy with yogurt dip. To make yogurt dip, take about half cup of plain whole milk yogurt. To that, add half teaspoon of cumin powder, one fourth teaspoon of red chili powder or paprika, and 1 4 teaspoon of salt or adjust it as per your taste. Mix it well. The yogurt dip is ready. Serve lentil kebabs with simple yogurt dip. It's a great recipe for appetizer or you can also enjoy it in burgers, sandwiches or wraps. I hope you give this recipe a try. Follow me on Instagram, the link is down below in the description box. And please subscribe to my channel for new videos. And do hit that like button. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.